Hello, hello, hello. It's the GNL podcast. It's uh, kind of been a while there, internet. So uh, uh, it's been a month. Uh, we we kind of went on a trip. We went to uh, a couple of, couple of us went to New York. Actually, we all went to New York. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> we saw Head in the Clouds and uh, uh, myself, Andre Hill, was there. Pogi was there. Gilly was there. And Lydia was there. It's Liddy. Um, she's kind of our special guest uh, today. So, uh, yeah, it was uh, it, the whole trip was a little mixed feelings, but uh, Head in the Clouds itself was uh, was was a banger. Um, although uh, I guess we'll start from the beginning. It was a little. <laughs> It was a little, <laughs> little, little, little it was a little but anyways, sauce. Little sauce. But anyways, uh, just giving you information, uh, Head in the Clouds is a music festival. It's uh, brought on by 88 Rising. Um, it's 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 a little center. It's centered uh, with uh, Asian artists uh, uh, in particular. Uh, and in particular, we were there for for XG. And you probably saw our reactions. We were you're big fans over here um, of XG, and uh, we saw them. It's their first North American debut there, but uh, yeah, we'll uh, we'll start from the beginning. Uh, as uh, as from, Can as I from leave the for start. this part? No, 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 it's okay. We still. <laughs> it's kind of true about our group. We're pretty sus. Like we're scoffed. We're scoffed. Yeah, we're we're a little, we're a little scuffed at it. <laughs> scuffed in everything <laughs> not, just, <laughs> not just the podcast or streaming but uh um yeah so we we went to travel we went to travel to uh where were we with queens it was we went to forest hills forest Hill. um it was uh easy drive you know we were jamming out on the car like always then lydia's like i remember she's like oh how do i get the tickets <laughs> or something like oh, yeah. that because I never got the email, an email. Yeah, yeah. We were like, "Oh no, we'll be okay, right?" We're still, we're still driving. We, we park the car. We we go Uber. Oh, well, we're still fine. I don't care. <laughs> oh, we have to walk to the stadium. It takes like a like a ten minute walk. We got time to get the tickets. <laughs> Lydia, you want to tell this part? <laughs> no. Okay. So <laughs> I was like, "Oh, I don't see the tickets." I turn on the app wasn't there i check my billing email in the app i make an account with that still no tickets so i'm like it shouldn't it be delivered already like you're saying you you were able to see them on your app when you transferred yours so i was like what do i do so then we call and then i'm like giving them my information they're like we don't see it they put me on hold they hang up on me. <laughs> oh yeah, that was the... not head in the clouds. It's the ticket company, okay? Big ticket for you, yeah. Yeah. So then I call back and I'm like, "Oh, maybe I typed something wrong because they still couldn't find it." It <laughs> it turns out that I mistyped my email address. Perfect. Yeah, and then. I was like, okay, thank you so much. But wait, I only see three tickets in my app. And she's like, oh, yeah, I see you bought four, but there's only three showing up right now. Let me check. And she checked. And I bought one ticket for Saturday instead of Sunday. So we have four my people. My heart dropped. My heart right. dropped. <laughs> I was like, everyone was like, I'll sit out, I'll sit out. I was like, no, I'll sit out. It was like. <laughs> We were... For context, we, we we only went to the Sunday. We only went to the Sunday. It's a two day show, but we went to the Sunday. Yeah. So yeah, we were yeah we were like, uh, what's happening? <laughs> and we were like, but you know, uh, Pogi was like, it's like, it's like we all go or we don't go at all. So yeah. <laughs> so then then the search was on. <laughs> yeah. So um, then Pogi was like, oh, should I? take the ticket back that I saw my friend. <laughs> I was like, we can find one on Twitter because like uh, from Stray Kids concerts, I see people like sell and they like tell like tips on how to sell things or like buy things without getting scammed. And then Gilly was like, check eBay. And I'm like, I don't want to do eBay. 
<laughs> oh wait, big shout out to um to your friend Poe. Uh she oh, yeah. Okay. You know, yeah. She she was willing to like sacrifice. Like, I was was not... no, no big deal. Yeah, she was nah, I was gonna, and I she was gonna go him. regardless. She was oh, gonna go regardless. Yeah. yeah. But I was just, like she was willing to and I, that shows she's a good she's good people's she's yeah. good people's. Yeah. But uh yeah, so we were scouring and Bro, then, uh... I, I just remember I'm like, okay. I tried not to like I hate showing that I'm panicking or like I'm nervous. So I'm like, okay, good things happen to us. Like we done so much great things that this shouldn't happen. So I was praying to God like Lydia has a power to stir up something, and luckily she did find someone on Twitter and I was I I was kind of sus a little bit. <laughs> no, 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 it's good. Cause I looked on Twitter, I was like, um, hidden clouds willing to sell. And then there's this account. She was a TXT and BTS stan. And I was like looking through her page. I was like, oh, she looks legit. Like she's been to concerts. She does this. She retweets things. She fangirls. I've messaged her. I'm like, hi, I'm interested. And she's like, oh, yeah, I still have the ticket. I was like, boy. Oh, my God. And then, uh, yeah, like we did the whole transaction. She almost sent it to the wrong email, too. Yeah, I email. Oh, yeah, yeah. Gmail. Email's too like, difficult, whoa. I guess. Like, so, two sus again. <laughs> so the two sus. Oh my gosh, that was a roller coaster. Yeah, I could tell everyone was like, like kind of, like anxious or like. Because yeah. we don't want, no, no, we don't no, want no. to yeah. spend more money, mm. you know. But luckily, it was cheaper than our own tickets. It's like crazy yeah. low. Yeah, which is so pretty good, but you know, it, it it it's a good lesson for everyone out there. Like what Liddy did, she's like she re researched, you know, the person. Right? It's not just like any old Twitter thing, or they're not like they're not like they're like a reseller or something or whatever. She was like, you know, she she said, oh, okay, that's her page. Said, okay, she seems legit. She goes to concerts. There's followers, there's legit followers. So, you know, that's a I, I learned from that experience. So if I ever do buy from Twitter, I'm gonna do the same technique. So good job, Liddy. Yeah, there's no way we weren't going to the concert. We're gonna find a way, regardless. Yeah. So if who he was like, he was just like, I'm manifesting this. He was like, <laughs> Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> we're going. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. like, we've been talking about this for so long, and there's no way this is gonna hinder us from not, not going. So yeah, manifestation, it works. Yeah. So so we get the tickets. Uh we go in and uh, the location is is first time for everybody there, right? Like at Forest Hills, yeah, I believe. Yeah, so Forest Hills. Uh, give you backgrounds. Uh, it's like a tennis club, um, but it sounds like they. It was where the first U.S. Open happened, um, or the and the early U.S. Opens uh, following that. Uh, so they have a little uh, center court, like, but it's like if we're gonna have a vlog out and uh, to show you the little. Um, the venue but the venue is like this old stadium court uh and they converted it to uh a stage there so supposedly a lot of concerts happen there uh yeah. on that so when you go in you're you're in the not in the center court but like the minor courts outside uh they had food out there they had uh um they had bubble tea there all these promotions out there Marches. Uh, so yeah um yeah, the merchandise there where, well, Gilly can talk about the merchandise. So we we entered, what do they call it? The night market? Yeah, the night market. And then we only, we really just wanted XG merch, right? And that was like sold out. It's kind of sad. Yeah. I even asked the guy, I said, yo, can I have the display? He's <laughs> 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 like, uh, nope. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so XG fans were already all over all over that stuff so um yeah so we were yeah we were a little disappointed by it by that uh, a little bit uh we saw we saw we actually bumped into uh fellow streamers uh one fellow streamer uh peter 
PJ Lynn. <laughs> and the Peter. Yeah, the Peter. <laughs> but uh, shout out to Peter. Uh, it was good to actually meet him in person because I know he didn't, uh, he didn't make it out to TwitchCon. So it was nice to actually meet him uh, um, in person there. Uh, and then, uh, yeah, well, because of all the time of getting <laughs> the tickets, it was it was like what two hours before their parents something like that yeah. right two, uh, you know, yeah. two hours? like three hours three hours something yeah yeah, yeah. so we were uh, I guess the game plan was because uh, uh, Gilly's very experienced what's 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 what was the game plan Gilly what protocol was, oh, as as, what was the yeah, protocol yeah. because we had VIP we were on the floor so yeah we, so we, like in order to get like a decent view or get close you had to be like at least like two hours before. Because usually people just stay there the whole time. I was reading a comment, I think from one of our YouTube channel, uh, from our YouTube videos, where a mom and a daughter uh, went to Head in the Clouds to see XG2. And then the mom was telling the daughter that they should go hella early, like 10 a.m. to wait in line. We I think were they eating up. breakfast at that time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah they're around like 12 i think that's the time they entered and like you know it's already starting to get packed at that time but yeah, you can't so. you, you got if you're like really excited to see someone go there like two performances before i say yeah yeah, yeah and um, usually you'll get closer because after the performance is done everyone just shifts a little bit forward yeah you want to see who they want to see yeah and we <laughs> <laughs> the the theme was hold the line. <laughs> that was the theme uh, um, during uh, during that time. Which it, it, you you're right. Like it started to get it started to get kind of crowded around. It packed there. right. Yeah, like yeah. it's so packed. And then like after like a few minutes, you, you start seeing new people around you. You're like, how does this even happen? You know? Yeah, yeah. It's true. They did cycle. It started seeing the the fans kind of cycle. Right, like yeah. you, you started uh, of the different performances from be from the beginning. Uh, I don't know who was the first. You guys remember the first? Uh... Nasiwe, Ma Masiwe. Is that am I saying that right? Uh, the rapper. I don't know. Rapper. Uh, rapper. Yeah. And then Dabin, and then was it Dabin? Yeah. Masiwe has. I guess he's uh... hip hop. Was he Cantonese? Was he? I didn't recognize any words. Not that I'm fluent or understand. <laughs> yeah, it didn't sound like Cantonese to me. I could be wrong. Yeah. So, but he had. I, I just noticed it was a big, big Chinese following there. So, um, I liked then, his music. Uh, yeah, it was. It was. It was not too bad. Uh, Dabin was next, right? Yeah. Oh yeah. After. Uh, that was dope. His, 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 yeah, yeah, his DJ cool. performance was really cool. He had uh, uh, I didn't expect to hear it, but I was just like, any Valorant fans was like, what? what? What's going on? Oh, yeah. <laughs> and then Gilly's flexing his, I was immortal once. <laughs> 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 was Yo, immortal. like, like the music video in the background really like goes with it with his uh, yeah, remix. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Same with the shooting stars. Remix? Yeah, he had a remix. That. Yeah, he had a, he had, had yeah. a remix. So. I've heard that remix Three before stars. from one of his shows, but I didn't recognize mm. it was him though. Oh, oh that's pretty cool. Okay, okay. That's yeah. pretty cool. It was him though. Yeah. So yeah, it was my first exposure to him. Uh, he it sounds like he's mostly EDM, I think. Um, so if you're into <laughs> that, I I, 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 just... I was realizing towards like the middle of his set. I was like, yeah. dude, I'm too old for this. Like, <laughs> really? I can't, I can't oh. vibe. I can't. I can't vibe with the EDM, bro. Like, I could if I. I could if I like. I'm really into it, but I was like, dude, my back hurts. <laughs> I'm hurting all over. Oh. I kind of want to sit down. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was, was like, a long time eventually. standing in place. I like, like that. It's fun. Yeah. 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 A little, a little the head banging. Yeah. You know, that's not too bad. If I had like, a couple of drinks. <laughs> <laughs> I had a couple of drinks, so maybe. Yeah. So, um, yeah. So that was pretty cool. Uh, and then, and then XG uh, was next, I believe. Yeah, yeah. So XG was next. Um, man, when XG came up. Okay, so this is my one thing about this about uh, uh, about this is eighty eight rising. If you're if you're watching. It's like you got to make the stage a little bit higher. 
And the reason why, when SG came on, all I see was, and I'm sure Lydia, all she saw was cell phones in the air. It was like, it was everywhere. I was like, holy shit. You couldn't see anything. Yeah. There was a point where there was a point I was recording someone's phone to record. <laughs> I was other people's phone. That's how I watched it. <laughs> yeah. It was so, so funny. But it, it was still cool to see, right? It's still the vibe was like, you know, you know, we're we we react to XG. We react to the videos. We, we see the we see the comments, right? We uh but you know when we were the, when I for me particularly when I was there, I was just like I was looking around, I was like, oh shit, like XG is they they definitely got the following, right? They definitely got are are a lot of people are, are loving their vibe um so i was that was one of the first impressions of like oh shit like a lot of people are here for sg <laughs> um, yeah. i was watching um simon's story and they're playing all their songs in the back legit you could hear everyone singing so loud in yeah. the story so like they're they're big yeah so, like yeah. i didn't realize it until like you go inside the you know the the stadium you're walking through the crowd and like you hear people like oh yeah we're watching we're watching xg like we're here for xg so i'm like okay this is this is real <laughs> like they're they're gonna take over one day yeah so yeah i'm pretty excited i'm like happy for them legit i was like proud dad <laughs> proud dad moment I captured it <laughs> it was awesome gilly was very excited yeah he, he got his photos uh, I really like the what do you call it? The whole thing because I think um they did like basically like a concert kind of because they had like costume change. Mm -hmm. They did like yeah, like you know, their own performances besides the main songs, right? They had a graphics, they have video. Yeah, graphics video. I mean, you know, it would be cool if we were I guess like shifted more in the middle because it actually looks sick having that background. Uh, the background video but it's still great seeing them you know perform like their dances that you watched on like youtube right yeah because we were off to a little left right left yeah of the stage yeah a little, little left off center and stuff so um leading yeah. of what you saw <laughs> i i just like like you know they kept the theme right they kept the theme of the each of their songs that they did in the music video oh, and they yeah. brought right i yeah. love the tippy toes outfit that's my favorite one like the, yeah. uh, the suits yeah. yeah yeah and that's what they first that's came out true. with that was their first yeah when they first when they got introduced that was their first song and then when they transitioned to mascara that was crazy yeah yeah that was cool and that's also, what i fully realized too like when they were saying that line um and mascara i was just like oh shit that was loud everyone's seeing <laughs> yeah also, when they were introducing themselves, that's why it got like really loud, right? It got real because you know yeah. they, I were ex they do that that famous lie they yeah. always do every time before they perform or when they introduce each other. Like, like everyone was into it. Oh my god, I'm getting goosebumps thinking about it. Yeah, because in those, yeah. in those, in those Korean uh, variety shows, you don't really hear crowd. I don't hear that much crowd sometimes. Um, in those Korean Friday shows, because I don't know the, how big it's. How big are they, Lydia? Yeah, how big are they, Lydia? Those oh. variety shows when they like the um the audience. It's not like a big audience, is it? No, it's not. Okay, so, but they can yell loud, like <laughs> so that you can hear them. Yeah, so that's well, good. Yeah. yeah, but yeah, no, I was just like, oh, that's so loud. Um, the other thing too is like their energy on the stage is like that energy you see on the video too like yeah that vibe i was just like and i remember that's the one thing i love about xg right now is that i don't know just to me in in my observation is that there's this vibe they have in all their videos of just they're enjoying themselves like even in the video itself, as much as it's structured and it's choreography, 
there's a point in the video where you just have the sense of that they're really enjoying themselves. Like they let them have a little bit of a, uh, I, I, it, it's kind of like not structured at all. It's kind of like just letting them like, you know, okay, after you do this move, just do whatever you want or whatever, right? Like, or feel however you want. And it just feels natural and all that. So, um, yeah, so that that's one of some of the things I got from the um, because from myself. So I think it was real for them too, like their first U.S. performance. Because I, I was watching my video that I recorded, and the part of left right when they said XG were certified, the crowd said it so loud. Maya made like a, a shock face, like we we're so loud. Oh, really? oh, okay. I didn't see that. I didn't. I didn't. Just yeah, see yeah. So she was like. And it was, yeah, so like it's great to see that everyone is legit singing their songs and them like hearing, like, we are listening to them, like, we're with them in a way. I wonder so. if they could hear us through their in ears because aren't they supposed to cancel a sound? And then, like, I don't if they know got if they it can... in, I don't know if they have it canceled sound. Really? Mm -hmm. I think you're Do supposed they? to block out so you can only think... do the playback. And then... Yeah, I think it's it kind of cancels out like have like not all background. I, they can still hear mm. a bit, yeah. but I, the main purpose of that is to hear themselves. I think, right? Yeah, yeah the monitor. Yeah. yeah. So it used yeah. to be where it's like a front speaker that actually um, goes toward them. In in but now a lot of it is like like in their in the ear ear thing ear pieces. I wonder just, if um, they took it out so they could hear us. Dude, just imagine this like the whole arena, like everyone's facing them and everyone's screaming, <laughs> singing their song. Like <laughs> legit. Yeah, they have had to hear it. Well, you know what? If 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 uh, Simon heard it from you know dude, he was kind of far away from the stage, right? If, like he's on the side. If you watch this video, it's so loud compared to like where we were at. <laughs> So, so it's crazy. Was there anyone like kind of like kind of caught your eye in their performances? Like any like XG member that caught your eye? Oh, XG member? Oh, or anyone, anyone. Oh, no, the girl next to me who was dancing with me. <laughs> oh. I couldn't even see, so I was just dancing and singing. And I looked over and, yeah, and she was doing the same. I was like, okay. <laughs> it was like, yeah, they're, they're a little dancing there. That's funny. Um, from <laughs> I don't know. I, I think Gilly it re reinforces Gilly's bias. What the the performances? It reinforced your bias. Mine was Jordan and Kokona. Oh, when they did their their the duo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not no, no. The, oh no, which one? Oh, that. Not even their performance, like their their song together, but like. I don't know, man. The, I mean, the 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 way that they perform, like their stage presence, like Rejuren, like always leading, leading. Like, I don't know. I'm a big fan of Kokona, so I don't Me know. Me too. I like all of them. Yeah, I like all. I love all of them. But what caught my eye was like, Juren moved up in my list of like favorites. Oh, favorite. <laughs> yeah. she's like, that guy with the side. Hmm? Oh, marry me! I was so I was jealous a little bit. <laughs> just kidding. I'm just Ooh. kidding. <laughs> but yeah. I think, uh, yeah, I think which which performance was your favorite? Oh, jeez. I think mine was uh, out of for the XG wise. Like, I think Shooting Star was my favorite. Shooting Star had the vibe. Just the whole stadium and and just their performance too was yeah yeah was my favorite, but you know what was nice out of the uh, for all the performance uh, for the whole set was that they did their little uh, um, their little ciphers and performances covers um, and freestyles. I was just like, that's what made it made it kind of like a mini concert, like you said, Gilly. With oh, those yeah. little, was those little performances yeah. in between, um, because I was also wondering, it's like, so they only have four songs, right? So, <laughs> like, how did yeah. you feel in that whole like, um, that whole time? And so, 
good job good job on uh <laughs> xg and the production team yeah. and simon for uh uh making it really worthwhile apparently gillian and bond didn't listen to that one song <laughs> in, in the clouds <laughs> oh wow <laughs> <laughs> two, two, two tens. <laughs> there was we didn't know the title. We didn't know the title. There was a lot of stuff going yeah. on. I'm a beat <laughs> person, so I recognize the beat. But I was also kind of like surrounded by screaming. <laughs> All the, around me. Yeah, the lyrics was like two twins, right? Or two two agents or something like that. I was like, this is tough. This is tough. This is a tough <laughs> song. But I was like thinking in my head, like, did they perform? Like, did they have a video of this before? But I don't remember. Because, you know, they had more cyphers in the beginning. Yeah, like, they had the cypher. By... And then the, then the Peaches song was done in their yeah. debuting. Uh, so I recognize that one. But the two other ones was the new ones, right? So. Um, yeah, and so that I'm was sure that they... was basically that was what basically what, that's what they said Simon was saying is like I got you know we got something special and actually we got and that and that tweet saying that we got something special for you for for head in the clouds yeah. we saw it first <laughs> yeah well some of us heard it first <laughs> <laughs> no I was but. thinking you know how like they went to KCON in in uh, Japan yeah, Japan yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like thinking, like, I want to see what the the crowd sounds like from like a camera phone, because like, there's none. No, there's no, there's no oh, videos of it. It probably got taken down. Oh, like, they posted it and yeah, then that's all. Yeah, they removed it for copyright. Because I want to know, like, if in Japan, like, everyone's like screaming. Was Kick on uh, streamed? Was there like yeah. an official stream? Oh, that's yeah, yeah that's why. Yeah. So, but yeah, I don't even know how big that fest is. It like a music festival? It was huge. It was huge. Is oh, really? big. It's oh, really? huge, bigger oh, wow. than uh, like four times bigger than Head in the Clouds, maybe oh. more. Well, wh- where was it? Do you know the location of it? In, they in hold it in different cities all the time, like throughout the years. Oh, so, like, okay, okay. New York, Thailand, Tokyo. Oh, uh, was it in LA at LA, one time? LA, oh, LA yeah, last yeah. year. Oh, that was. In... Where was it this year? Well, Japan. they're gonna have multiple, but um, oh, okay. earlier it was Japan. That performance in KCON was probably my favorite performance from them, because they have a humongous stage and they use all of it. Yeah, and they were wearing uh, those uh, Versace pants. L- Louis Vuitton. Louis Vuitton. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> How much were they <laughs> each? Seven or seven or five k, five k, yeah. Oh my yeah. god, damn! One hundred likes, Pokey will buy one. <laughs> <laughs> no, okay, <laughs> we're actually so close to five hundred on our, our reactor video. Uh, that's funny. We're actually so close. I'm actually credit down. Oh, down to buy the pads? No, down to go to uh, uh Henry Cloud's LA. Oh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm down to get those pants, bro. <laughs> Ready to spend five k. It wasn't. It was five hundred likes. Yeah, yeah, five hundred likes on our our reaction video. And but let's be honest, it's just one. Yeah, <laughs> just just the one like I'm happy. <laughs> um. So we had actually. Uh, that was of course the main focus while we were there. Uh, once the once the performance was done, we we took our tired legs and feet and we <laughs> we downgraded our ticket. Yeah, we downgraded our tickets. Basically, we did the washer break, and we were like, "Okay, uh, we're gonna go sit." So we went up onto the uh, into the seats uh, and enjoyed the rest of the uh, festival. So next was uh, DPR DPR live DPR weekend game. Uh, yeah, oh. DPR live. Um, and Ian. Yeah, and Ian. Uh, <laughs> is it Ian or Ian or is it Ian? It's Ian. 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 <laughs> Ian. Please, Let's take please it. take off your shirt. I was what? like, please what? take off your shirt. Oh, oh yeah. He was wearing the jacket. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. We had to calm down Liddy there. It's like, Liddy. <laughs> yeah, Liddy was so crazy. hyped. Yeah, she was so hyped. And actually, I became a fan. Like, I've never heard of DPR. So uh, after that performance, I was like, oh, okay. I've never heard of DPR. So it was uh, pretty cool. Um. Yeah, the scaredy cat got 
song got me. I was just like, oh, the scary cat song's pretty cool. Um, and then it started to get a little darker for uh, Nikki. Um, what was funny, though, was on the second stage. So what they did was they alternate stages. So main stage has a performance, and the second sec, uh, the second stage has it because the second stage is behind the main stage, so they can't have it conflicting. Um, so if you looked at the schedule back then, they had it um, alternating. But it was funny; it was like it's a it was a whole like EDM festival on the on the second stage, <laughs> and you see the whole crowd just going woo. I was ready to go over there and be like, hey, hey, hey. <laughs> you can hear the crowd. You can hear the whole crowd. It, was I, it got me funny. excited because you could see it from where we were sitting. Right there's a little bit of a window to the second. Um, uh, from the trees you can see it. there's a gap that you can see the second stage um on there so then uh and then uh nikki came on so i, I haven't heard i haven't listened to nikki in a long time um but uh literally it's she's like the asian taylor swift I love <laughs> oh <her. laughs> but a little more raw i was, was like my... oh she was like she was she was my favorite oh, performance she was like swearing you shit i was like oh cool damn <laughs> I didn't so, okay. I never listened to Nikki before, but like I was, thought it was so cool. She had the live band and mm. she played the guitar actually, like her. Oh yeah. And yeah. she had the outfit change too. And even the musicians that were with her, they were dancing. Like they had some choreo during one part. Yeah. And I was oh. like, oh, that's so cute and like well thought thought out. But um yeah, that's it. <laughs> yeah. I think Nikki is 88 Rising's top artist, from what from what I know. Because um, 88 Rising is also a, they're also a record label too. Um, but I remember when she came out in the in the uniform, the school uniform outfit, and then she was singing the uh, the Jakarta song, High which is now. basically yeah, it was her, basically her, yeah her memoirs of. Of going to school in Jakarta, and I was like, "Oh, that's right. That was the song." Because I remember someone writing up on it because they were saying it's like the first song that a lot of Asians can um, relate to, um, because of what she was talking about—the issues of growing up, right, uh, in Asian household, and also of an Asian South Asian schools too, the pressures and all that and everything. So. Um, that's why I was like, oh, that's a Nikki. Because I remember her, her, the only one song I kind of remember was that she was featured in the Shang-Chi uh, soundtrack. Oh, yeah, yeah. It was that grocery store. Because I remember the video was in a grocery store, <laughs> the, the song. So, um, but uh, yeah, it was pretty cool. And then you see all the, everyone had their uh, um, camera light, their phone light. Yeah, that um, actually lit up the stadium. It was like so bright. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I saw that other people cool. brought their uh, light sticks. I saw NCT <laughs> light stick, and I don't remember. There's two other ones, and I was like, "Oh, that's so cute! I should have brought my mine." <laughs> oh, oh, so yeah, her song Loki was my favorite performance, and then Jakarta was high school in Jakarta was my second performance. She, she, she legit, she was my second favorite out of besides XG. She was like, it was so like, chill. Like, yeah, yeah. I've been listening to her in my card ride now, so I love mm -hmm. her. Can't wait to see her if I go to LA. Nope, you're seeing her. More oh. likes, please, guys. <laughs> yeah, more likes. <laughs> he's he's <laughs> going. More likes. <laughs> but remember, um, we we're about to like leave uh, during Nikki. No, during Nikki's performance, someone's tried to leave. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, okay. Okay, at the end of the night, you expect some people they're gonna get lit, right? And uh, lit as in, you know, there was a, I think there was a drink, yeah, there was a alcohol uh, drinking area. Um, but yeah, so <laughs> me and Gilly moved down just to see, just to get closer, just uh, uh, for the Nikki concert. And so, you know, us being good Canadians, right? Person wanted to get out of their seats, so we were at the we were at the end uh, near the stairs. So I I, get, I move out of the way. Gilly kind of stands up. Guy, the guy went first, right? Or the girl went first? I, I forgot. The, yeah, the dude went yeah. first. The dude went first, and then he's waving his friend, who's a girl. I don't know if they were together or not, but Hugh seemed okay. But the girl is like. 
she looked like she was lit or and she was kind of dancing and then the next thing you know what, he was was he yelling or something i, I don't know uh no i like the the girl was just like she pointed at me for some reason. Do you remember that part? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Or, like, what's really going on? To the friend, and then, <laughs> and then, and then the guy came back to get her. Yeah, and then like, what did you some, do? Re- for some reason, they did not want to leave, right? And then yeah, the girl was like, <laughs> yeah, I was like, what, what's going on? And yeah. I was just like, oh no, am I not? And then, <laughs> and then, the, I think they were arguing or something, but. They're arguing like with me in the middle of both of them. And I'm like, <laughs> what's going on? You're in the war zone. <laughs> I, and I look at Bob like, what's going on, man? And I'm just like, I don't know. And the people behind us, they're kind of they had this weird look of like looking at each other. What's going on in front of these? Yeah. And then they mind uh, our own business. That's what New Yorkers do. We mind yeah. our own business. <laughs> and then the guy and the girl left, right? And the girl she starts like pointing at me for some reason while Bond's like behind them trying to get back and she's like I'm like what? <laughs> I'm like, what's going on? <laughs> and then they left their other friend and their friends are just chilling and they, they went all the way back I'm like oh my gosh <laughs> and it was the friend that's what she was pointing at it wasn't Gilly yeah. it was that friend but we no, were she was messed like, up she was messed yeah, up yeah she was just kind yeah of like, she doesn't know who she's pointing at <laughs> It was like, oh. yeah, she did the, she did the, don't drag me. I'm having a good time. <laughs> yeah. Wow, that was a good impression. What threw me off is she's like, she put her head out right in front of me. It's like, uh. Yeah, that was, yeah, I remember like, that part. Uh, yeah, she's like, and then Gilly's like, what is going on? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And then later she, she was just like, passed out. She was like, passed out standing up with her eyes closed. Yeah. yeah. I was That's like, funny. And then we, I was like, uh, let's go back up later. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I, have a, I have a funny, I have a favorite Gilly moment that day, though. It was kind of funny. It was, it, was, it? Was be, it was before DPR. We were going up the bleachers. And all of a sudden, I hear Gilly say, someone touched my leg. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're welcome. You're welcome. <laughs> someone touched my leg. <laughs> Yeah, whoever you are who grabbed my leg going up the stairs, you're welcome. <laughs> That's the thing that I heard. I started laughing. That shit was so funny. <laughs> Yo, someone just grabbed my leg. It's <laughs> like a Yo. literal leg check right there. <laughs> Yo, what one thing I was trying to do, I was trying to guess those uh XG like portfolios or papers or whatever yeah what they were so i had to ask like random people like oh where do you get that from they said that oh there were like people just standing and they ask you questions on how you think like i guess like how how would you promote promote xg something like that mm. and then so i think they marketing? take your picture yeah i guess so and they take your picture and then they give you that portfolio <gasps> damn it yeah i yeah. think we were just late for it because i saw when i first when we first walked in i didn't notice some people holding it of uh, the folders yeah. and i was just like oh what was that from so yeah oh and good I, yeah also uh what do you call it the crowd was really friendly like it would be random sometimes i'd be just singing uh xg lyrics and then they would just finish it off i think lee oh. was there but lee was talking about someone's coconut what? Wait, what? <laughs> we're, we're going out from Nikki. I was singing some XG, and then you saw someone holding a coconut drink. Oh, was, yeah, oh, we're going down the stairs, and I was like, yeah. oh, a coconut. <laughs> <laughs> Just completely <laughs> random. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But it was a, yeah, it was a, it was a pretty chill crowd, right? Like, there's, I don't think they were really friendly. Even, yeah. Yeah. Even after the concert ended, like, you know how everyone's just outside? Yeah. yeah, like everyone's just very interactive with each other. Yeah, Gilly should know. He he's a festival man. He has an experience. <laughs> oh, it's so tired after that, bro. <laughs> yeah, my legs hurt. Yeah, it was a lot. We stayed for two hours. Oh my gosh. We had a good dinner. Oh yeah, we did. Yeah. We walked. To... What's the place? Mad for chicken. Mad for chicken. 
Yeah. And just down the street. Yeah, everyone that was there was basically went to the head of the cloud. Yeah. <laughs> See, he was looking around. I was like, oh. Yeah. Was there all these people there? But because we didn't yeah, eat so, all day. That's true. And we didn't drink. Remember, uh, I remember Pogi telling the guy at the water said, I think I have the water. Uh, I heard it's the best or something like that. <laughs> I, heard, I heard you have the best water in town. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Five bucks for water for what? I don't mean, remember. For a small water bottle like this. It's cheaper yeah. than, uh, you know, Vegas water, you know? Vegas water. LA yeah. water. $60. <laughs> oh, that's that the club? Oh. The club? yeah that's how much we, we pay oh wow it's like to stay dollars. alive yeah stay. 50 dollars are you sure stay hydrated it, it was... I, I, yeah i made sure yeah <laughs> i made sure okay. yeah it's not even a full water uh, ball it's like up to here the water ball it's crazy but yeah hand in clouds oh. would you guys do it again yeah, in LA, yes. <laughs> you know why? If I had the means, I would go to LA because the yeah. lineup looks pretty crazy in LA. Um, if I had the I saw. time. Yeah, I had the time. Because they what? added, uh, so who they, they got the DPR, they had Jackson, Nikki Gang, Wang, Jackson Wang was added. Um, so a whole bunch of so, people. If you could, like, each one of you, like, do something differently for <laughs> Hand the Claws, what would you do differently? Buy <laughs> tickets like, correctly. <laughs> True. Um, Spell your email correctly. <laughs> <laughs> get, the, get the tickets early. <laughs> yeah, that's actually crazy, though. We were yeah. put on hold for, like, 20 minutes. Delay and then hung up on. <laughs> and I, I was telling Pokey, like, uh, like for five minutes, like, yo, watch us go straight to the what do you call it? The survey, survey, <laughs> like, you know, it goes to the survey. I was like, yo, that's it. <laughs> she I was like, why are they <laughs> asking you these questions? I didn't even get my service yet. Yeah, <laughs> and, and I the lady with... calls back, and she call... is the same person. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> everybody was like, is that the same person? <laughs> <laughs> uh, only us, hey, everything turned out well, so I'm glad. Wait, yeah. what was the question? <laughs> Uh, what would you do differently? Go there earlier. Yeah, a little bit go earlier, earlier. Or maybe like, even though like XG was the second day, maybe go to the first day too. Even though it's freaking pouring, it was but raining. at least to get okay. at least to get the merch or something. Yeah. yeah, at least it wasn't grass. I thought it would be some grass, but it wasn't grass. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's not that bad. But yeah, uh, think- you're right. About the uh, oh. like go a day early and then, like, I guess, like, get merch if you want. Yeah, yeah, I want to see all the artists and enjoy all their music next time. Uh, I would see for me as much as it was fun being at the at the in the on the front there at the stage. If 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 the stage was higher, I think it would have been okay, but if I knew that it was going to be like that. I'd probably go back into the stands. Actually, I wouldn't mind it because even if, even if I was, regardless of if I'm re- recording it with my phone or my little action camera, um, it's nice to see like the stage and to see them, you know, dance without any yeah. cameras in your way. You know what I mean? And like, like I said, it's fun being in the front, right? But there are times when it's just kind of like. Where if you're if you're so much back, you might as well just go up onto the yeah. I didn't know the stands. That, yeah, I didn't know there was gonna be stands, but those people probably help like lined up hella early, right? Yeah, they probably. But it, it's before. worth right if you're like close to the front row. Yeah. Like. Oh yeah, yeah. Dire- you, were, you got a direct view. Yeah. yeah. The only hard problem about being in the front row is that. If you go there early, you're stuck there, man. You're like, gonna if get you got to go to the washer, yeah, I mean, squish, there's a possibility you're going to get kind of squished. But if you're there, you're you're stuck there, right? Like, you want to go get water? Oh, fuck. It's like, oh, they gave out water, no? They gave they out water. They did give out water, water but they're only yeah. going to give it, like, when it comes to the point of, like, okay, yeah. we need to give these people water, right? When yeah. it comes to uh, safety concern, right? Yeah. Um, the front is actually kind of decent because you have something to lean on. Yeah. 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 My friend, you my sit, friend got yeah. front row actually when he was there. Oh really? Yeah. So he had a head of So yeah. So if he so, came in day? a little, 
The second day, yeah, for XG. Oh, what time? So if you... we went there, if we went there a little earlier and we got that front row, I think we had more fun. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I think, yeah. I would like to see an extended stage, maybe, like not just a straight stage, but like it juts out and then they can walk up. Oh, okay. I know. Like they oh, go okay, towards yeah. the middle, like a runway. Yeah. A little yeah. bit of a runway in the front. Hmm. Yeah. That would have actually been, that might enhance the, the the stage a bit, just so that, yeah, if you're a little bit behind, you can still kind of see um, things. Um, yeah. But if I, if I was going back to that, to that venue itself, I would, I would just be, I'd be good in the stands. <laughs> I like the pit. I got to dance. <laughs> Yeah, I'll give you the picture. You can still dance in the in, in the in in the stands, especially at the front. I guess. So as long as you get the front, but I want to feel the sweat. You know, it's not the oh. same. <laughs> not the same. But is it worth three hours standing? <laughs> I can. I mean, we forever. we can stand until the XG and then leave like we did before. So. Oh no! I, yeah. yeah. Man, the performance before XG was pretty fun. Imagine if you're standing for Nikki that whole day. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Or even yeah. even standing in the back, I think that's worth it too. Oh yeah, you can actually see in the back. Well, yeah, that's true. Actually, the further you go back, you can probably see a little bit more. And people are dancing in the back. Yeah, break dancing. <laughs> yeah, so I think for XG, I just want to be in the front. Actually, only. Been here, done. Actually, a lot of people did that. I remember a lot of people started leaving after. I it was, was like, crazy. Oh. Yeah, it was crazy. It was our first performance, so we had to be there, you know. Yeah. In the states, so you had to be there. So concert, that's a definite. New York concert, we all go back. Uh, if they're in the area, I am definitely getting. I'm I'm splurging on their concert tickets. V V V V I P. Yeah, yeah, High yeah, touch. Yeah. Like we're working. We're, we're working people. <laughs> <laughs> we have uh, the means. So, but yeah, I had a good experience. Ten clouds. Good job, Sam. New York. Um, I wish I could be going to L.A., but I'm sure the L.A. was going to be a banger too at the Rose Bowl. Um. With that line up there, so uh, one day, one day, maybe next year, we, we'll see. But uh, any last thoughts, Liddy? Can I go last? Not last, but not first. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I Pogi. Know what to say. I'll, I'll go the other way around. I'll go. Okay, Pogi. Any last thoughts? Uh, I'm just really happy I got to. Not listen to just XG, but other Asian artists because, like, legit, this I guess this whole year basically is just us reacting to Asian music, basically. And I love the feel of listening to new people, like, I love music. So, like, but this, like, listen DPR, ba- uh, Babin, Dabin, sorry, Babin, Dabin, <laughs> Dabin. <laughs> uh, but, I was thinking, I was thinking Lord of the Rings for a second and it combined <laughs> it together. <laughs> but um, just listening to other artists besides listening to Drake and the American, I, I listen to the same music. So having a different genre is making my day better. So shout out to Asian artists out there. Represent. Uh, I, I just really like the experience of like the live performances. Like you always listen to like the audios, but when you're actually there, it's, it's always nice to hear like the interactions and the the crowd too, you know. So, yeah. So the the last concert I've been to a lot of concerts. The last major concert I went to, and this was a long time ago, was like Janet Jackson. And Whoa. one of the things I loved about Janet Jackson and her concert was that you were entertained because of the choreography like the dancing and it's come a long way and just for that short time though xg's choreography and it was just like 
it reminded me of the Janet Jackson concerts. Like how coordinated were she was with her with her 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 uh her background dancers, right? But then XG of course is the whole group, right? So I was just like that's why I was, you know, I'm very impressed by the performances. Uh, the other thing too is, yeah, uh, Head in the Clouds, uh, 88 Rising, good job in like promoting Asian artists. Um, even myself, like I became a DPR fan. Um, we have a lot to offer. There's like music out there, right? And, and not just on the radio or what you see on, um, you know, on pushed on YouTube and uh, actually it's even more from from back then because back then it was mostly mtv up in here in canada it was much music that was pushed for videos right and now you can watch any kind of music but it's good to see them promoting um asian music especially during the um a aapi month so um uh but uh yeah no i, I had a good experience like <laughs> like pokey i did feel my age a bit <laughs> a little bit um but you know it's one of those things that i've also been hibernating for from from covid for a long time <laughs> so it was nice to actually get out to events and and even for me that was like the first time i actually gone to another city to see a performance like an actual concert so i've never done that before so that was a pretty cool experience for myself all right, Liddy. <laughs> uh, okay. So I really liked that we made a memory together. Oh, that's so wholesome. <laughs> like, it was... I'm really glad I went with you guys. So... Like, I wouldn't have... Probably have gone with other people. <laughs> <laughs> um, And I also really uh, appreciate all the artists um and i like i personally really like concerts so i like being in that like setting where there's loud music and i just stand and like pop my head um that's all i can think of oh <laughs> oh favorite memory go that weekend what memory me, small and thick. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> my, my, I was like, Liddy, my dad doesn't know what that means. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. Wait, what? can you wear the shower <laughs> when, when I said yeah. that? Yeah, I think yeah, so. I mean, yeah. Yeah, what happened? He's getting ready. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, Pogi's dad was like talking about someone, I don't know, some other tiny... Chinese girl that they know. Oh yeah, from okay. Ireland. It was that girl that was like the the Airbnb. Uh, they were she's staying. Like I remember now. Yeah, in the yeah. UK right now or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And yeah. he's like, "Oh, she reminds me of you so much because you're small." And I was like, "I'm small, but I'm also thick." <laughs> <laughs> I was like, "Yo, lady, my dad doesn't know what that, that means." <laughs> he was just like, <laughs> well, he's like eating his stuff. He's like eating his stuff. I don't. <laughs> He doesn't know what that means. <laughs> That's so funny. It was good. So, oh man, That's funny. That was good. Good times. My favorite memory was actually, you know, walking with you guys through New York. Even though it was raining, it was actually pretty fun walking with you guys. Like, just walking around. Even yeah. if it wasn't like, you know, just messing around in Grand Central Station to, to just trying to keep ourselves amused at the Japanese <laughs> a little Japanese uh, festival that we ran that we walked to <laughs> so it's just cool to hang out with you guys I was like this the whole time waiting with rain falling <laughs> <laughs> miserable I was like why am I here is this even worth it and it was like oh it was just, yeah. it was so bad 25 yeah. minutes for a uh, K-Dog I was no, like this is not like... this is not it this was not it that was miserable. That was so pissed. <laughs> Next time. I'm, I'm coming back to New York, though. That's for sure. I, I might even go. It might be earlier earlier than than, than I think it will be, too. So. Um, it's fun, man. Yeah. So, on that. Gilly. 
Um, when John Cook came on the radio and me and someone <laughs> reached for the <laughs> reached for the volume at the same time, and we both we said, hands. You know, "Oh, we touch hands." hands. <laughs> Aww. we said the same thing too, but I forgot. Yeah, I forgot what we said. This is my favorite. <laughs> oh. we just become they a, friends they had a moment they had a moment in the car well, I, so I, like overall i think it was just driving around Ooh. like with everyone in the car just jamming out uh, yeah. oh driving through traffic and stuff that was fun and police yeah. saying i run this town or something <laughs> <laughs> oh no it's like i, I run the streets <laughs> it's always my way or the highway and then immediately after, next car. Oh, okay, he runs the street. <laughs> <laughs> this guy doesn't give a fuck. <laughs> yeah. I feel that. Poli? You I like it. That whole weekend? Um... Oh, he was both hard. <laughs> say yours, say yours. Oh, this, this reminded me we were going to pick up Kata and I asked you a question and then you said something so funny. <laughs> we can't say here. We can't say here. We can't say here. You... We can't so say here. All no, you no, know is no. wedding dress. Yes. Oh, no. I'm sad again. <laughs> <laughs> my favorite memory or a memory that pops up in my head is probably... When we were having like a like a serious conversation while the game is on. <laughs> oh, commercial break! All right, go, <laughs> go. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was, that was a good time. Was... Oh. I like that. And Gilly, uh, messing up my computer too. That was fun. Oh, well, I was getting flashed by <laughs> your computer. Yeah, that was uh... fun. I enjoyed. Oh. And on that note, uh, you know what was reliable and won't won't do something funny on you? Gilly knows. What? Oh, do we do the sponsorship here? Oh, Anchor. <laughs> you want to download a free <laughs> podcast software? Anchor. Google Play Store, Anchor. Apple Play Store. Very re- reliable. Very yeah. reliable. And it's free. And <laughs> it's free. Oh. Well, uh, so, oh, uh, let's boy. do some key takeaways from this. Uh, remember, guys, when we go to these concerts, always be prepared. Wear a rain jacket, sunscreen, and always put your right email. <laughs> spell your right e- spell yeah. your no, email. Double right. Also, email. by the correct dates, you should be able to get your tickets right after you pay. So make sure you check you have your tickets after you pay that email confirmation important <laughs> yeah email if you don't get Just... it you call <laughs> and next on time that note gail will oh. pay for the tickets next time yeah it's true yeah i don't want responsibility don't put it on me <laughs> no, you'll get it right the next time you know, i think you learned <laughs> yeah you know, we'll all be there. <laughs> we will yeah, have do, a, do a simple meeting. email. You know, we'll me, and, me, me and Liddy did it together too. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> oh, really? we're tickets, right? <laughs> we, we need more. We need more people. Hey, you know what? We got the street kids together, right? Well, remember in TwitchCon, we did that together. We should be Yeah, that's through Ticketmaster. It has Yo, saved. Then, we should all buy tickets together, no matter what. <laughs> they were selling out that quick, though. They were selling out quick. Yeah, it's true. It's true. It's true. All right. Well, Zuzu. thank you guys for listening. Uh, it's nice to, uh, well, <laughs> you know, sorry for being a, a month long for the next episode, but it shouldn't be that long for um, for uh, this coming up episode. But uh, thanks for listening. Um, hope you guys are doing all right out there. Um, and as always, have a good night. Till the next podcast. Later. Yeah.